Afternoon with rounds of rain moving through today. We started the morning commute with some thunderstorms, then this afternoon things really picked up with some very heavy rain actually prompting some flash flood warnings that are still in effect for parts of the valley. Here's a live look from the downtown Summerlin camera. This is looking to the east where the dark clouds are, and you can see the nature of this rain. It's not a widespread blanket rain over the whole valley, but things have picked up yet again over the West Valley towards Summerlin South, stretching into areas of North Las Vegas, getting some of those heavier downpours. This is the area under the flash flood warning, which encompasses this is uh, the I-15 corridor, the resort corridor, the Strip, Reed Airport, and then farther west toward the Lakes and Roads Ranch. This is up until 7 o'clock, and the difference between the warning and the watch, a warning means that flooding is either imminent or occurring. So a lot of areas in here have seen some very heavy rainfall, including Red Rock Canyon, and that is why we do have the flash flood warning out for that area as well. So right now, we've got some heavy downpours around North Las Vegas Airport, stretching toward Aliante right now, Nellis Air Force Base, the speedways, you get towards Sunrise Manor, seeing some heavy rainfall. And a batch of some heavier rain, this is kind of moving out of the Anthem area over Black Mountain near Ascaya, heading through Green Valley Ranch, and it's pushing toward areas like downtown Henderson, Cadence, and areas of East Henderson here over the next half hour. So that's where some heavy downpours are coming in with some lightning. See this line of lightning stretching down toward Laughlin and toward Lake Havasu this evening. Here's future track hour by hour forecast. Scattered thunderstorms coming down, heavy rain at times, and it will continue into the evening tonight. Now we'll see a little bit of a lull late evening, but as we go into tomorrow morning, showers and thunderstorms in the forecast and then more widespread precipitation starts to come in from Hillary. That will be as we head into tomorrow late afternoon evening. Here's Hurricane Hillary right now, still a very powerful Category 4 hurricane. It's southwest of Cabo, not making landfall in Cabo, but it's going to hit some colder waters off the coast of California, and hurricanes need warm waters to survive. But even though it's hitting colder waters, this could still be a tropical storm as it moves into Southern California, which will be the first tropical storm moving into California since 1939, and that will mean some heavy rain. So we've got some flash flooding being our main concern with this, diving into some details on the rain timing, and the flood risk. Let's send it over to meteorologist Ted Pretty for Team Weather. Yeah, good time to turn your sprinklers off because this is the type of day we expect for your Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Even more activity with some waves of moisture at time because of this Hurricane Hillary. Now, a Category 4 storm. Let's look at the chance of rain over the next couple of days. Look at Saturday. I mean, the closer we get to Saturday, the more active the first half of Saturday does look, but it really ramps up. That hasn't changed. The second half of Saturday, overnight through Sunday into Monday uh, morning, actually. So, really generally between Saturday morning through Monday morning, an active period of time. We rarely get this, but those storms that are remnants of tropical storms and hurricanes in the past have certainly given us some of the best monsoon storms over the last several years, a couple decades, as a matter of fact, since I've been here, and this is no exception. Flood watch Saturday morning through Monday morning, not just for the Fox 5 viewing area, but the entire state of Nevada. A good portion of California, almost half of California, the western half of Arizona, and a good section of Utah, just to give you an idea of how wide in scope this uh, storm is, not only with the spatial distribution of that uh, flood watch, but also the duration from Saturday morning through Monday. Sam?